for this problem, the numerator, those are two unlike terms as well, so we can't combine those. And same with the denominator, they're unlike terms because they're different square roots. So we can't combine different values like that. Because uh, those square roots kind of act as unknowns or variables. So on this one, once again, uh, it did tell us to rationalize the denominator, so we need to multiply the denominator by its conjugate. And right now we've got the square root of 2 minus the square root of 3. So we need to multiply it. We're going to use, again, the same values, the square root of 2 and the square root of 3. But instead of minus, we're going to add these two together. That's the conjugate. But if I do it to the denominator, I also need to do it to the numerator as well. So in the, in the denominator, that's going to be the easy part on this because this is um, the difference of square stuff. So I really got the square root of 2, but we're going to square that and subtract the square root of 3, but we're also going to square that as well. What we're really concerned about is this numerator because we have differing values there. So I've got the square root of 3 times the square root of 2, which is the square root of 6. So I am skipping a step here. Then I've got the square root of 3 times the square root of 3, which is 3. Then I'll do the square root of 4 times the square root of 2, which is the square root of 8. And the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. I apologize. The square root of 4 is 2. So, I mean, if you want to just make that 2, you could. That's just going to make this next part easier. 2 times the square root of 3. All right. In the denominator, the square root of 2 squared is... So, again, this is just the denominator. Square root of 2 squared is 2, and I'm going to subtract the square root of 3 squared, which is 3. And in the numerator, I got the square root of 6. That can be simplified. I'm going to add the 3. The square root of 8 I can simplify, though. 8 is 2 times 2 times 2, so I got the square root of that. Here's a pair of 2s, so I'm going to add 2 times the square root of 2. That came from the square root of 8. And then I will add... This other 2 times the square root of 3. Keep in mind again that these two, square root of 2 and the square root of 3 here, are not like terms. Neither is this square root of 6 because it's the square root of different values. Well, now we have this 2 minus 3, which is uh, negative 1. And then I still have the denom I'm sorry, the numerator. Need to put that a little bit more space. So I've got the square root of 6. Dang it. Square root of 6 plus 3 plus 2 times the square root of 2 plus 2 times the square root of 3 all over negative 1. But if I wanted to rewrite this, I could by getting rid of this garbage and just multiplying everything here by a negative 1. All that's really going to do is change the signs. So I'd have the negative square root of 6 minus 3 minus 2 root 2 minus 2 root 3. This looks like a better way to show that.